The newly created Russian drone, Gabera is the younger brother of the Shahed type attack drone and is designed to exhaust the resources of Ukrainian air defense systems. This was stated by Ukrainian military specialist in the field of radio technologies, Sergei, with the call sign flash on the air of the TV channel Novosti.live. The expert noted that in Tatarstan, there is an Alabuga free economic zone where all geranium attack drones are currently produced. There is a whole group of developers and inventors working there who are creating various additional measures to improve the efficiency of the Shaheds. In particular, we have already seen modems with Ukrainian SIM cards on board. We have seen flying video cameras that have flown to our facilities and the variety of gadgets that the Russians are experimenting with. And this group announced that they have created the Gabera drone. This is the younger brother of the Shahed, the specialist noted. The expert added that the Russians announced the goals of the Gabera drones. The first goal is radio reconnaissance. I think they formulated it incorrectly. The goal is to install video cameras and LTE modems on board UAVs in order to record our air defense points. And this is called radio reconnaissance, he added. At the same time, the Russians are trying to use these drones to create false targets in the Ukrainian skies. This is the main purpose of this product. It is a cheaper product. It does not have an expensive navigation system and cannot fly accurately. But at the same time, we cannot visually and we cannot distinguish it 100% from the Shahed using radar stations. Therefore, like the Shahed, we must shoot it all down. The specialist emphasized. The expert noted that this leads to the expenditure of our ammunition and to more complex organizational measures. In addition, Russian developers are positioning the Gerbers as small martyrs for delivering small strikes because the warhead of the newly created drones is half the size. Therefore, this is a small alternative UAV whose main task is to deplete our resources, the expert emphasized. Russia has launched the third stage of drills on the use of nuclear weapons, authorities reported on Wednesday. Russian Defense Ministry said the drills were intended to maintain troops' readiness for combat missions. As part of this exercise phase, personnel from the missile formations of the southern and central military districts will complete combat training tasks, including acquiring special training ammunition for the Iskander-M tactical missile systems, the Defense Ministry said in a statement. Servicemen will also be instructed in equipping launch vehicles and covertly advancing to designated positions to prepare for electronic launches, the statement added. The ministry clarified that the drills were taking place in the central and southern military districts, which include several North Caucasus republics and annexed Crimea, as well as four partially occupied regions of southern and eastern Ukraine that Russia claims to have annexed. The first stage of the exercises began later in May after President Vladimir Putin ordered the drills in response to what he described the Western threats and provocations. This stage of drills involves training on the Iskander-M missile systems and various aircraft, the Russian Defense Ministry said.